Okay, I'm back. I'm thinking one more quest, because I don't think we have enough battery life for another, uh, too many of those, of these quests. Okay, like I said earlier, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this sometime before, but this is the part of the game when everyone seems to think that the Ligia Curse and the Earthquakes are connected. I repeat, they did not think of that at the beginning of the game. So, I'm gonna talk to you all later. I need to put away some more materials. Apparently my chambermaid needs to talk to me as well, although I can't imagine why. Okay, um... I have a feeling... But Cha Cha's left left me, hung me out to dry. Okay, nothing special. Okay then. Well, it was lying dead there for about a minute. So unless it was faking, which I wouldn't actually put it past, I wouldn't put it past the Ligia Chris. No, I'm pretty sure I killed it. Again, Ligia Chris is not causing earthquakes, I don't know why you think so. Yeah, you can see the village is in quite a shambles. I wonder what gave you that idea. Oh yeah, there's nothing bigger than the Ligia, Chris. Those Lao Shan Lung I fought in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite were nowhere near the size. Okay, new villager quest. Anyone else want to talk? Okay, so better meals from the feline chef. What do you want? Okay, any of any new monster books to buy? No. Did we get them all? Okay, so now we're supposed to evacuate the village because of those earthquakes. Okay, new quests, new hunting ground, a lot of good stuff. But for now we have to complete them without Cha Cha's help and who wants me in the farm? Who wants me?
Okay, so looks like we got more good ingredients for our meals, but let's go questing. Okay, I want... Okay, I'm gonna want something. Ooh. Awesome, this is just the skill that I need. Feline Strong Cat. Because I know what quests we're gonna do before we call it quits, and we didn't get Strong Cat, that sucks. Yeah, Cha-Cha, he's gone, and I don't know where he is, but we have two new quests, if we... three if you count the Harvest Tour, which I don't. We have a Legiacurse Capturing Quest, which we're definitely not gonna do right now. And this one, Heat Exhaustion, uh, deliver two Powder Stones. Uh, love this quest. Powder stones hold concentrated volcanic energy. They pack enough heat to forge a monster carapace or hard minerals. Thing is, you can't make them, so I need you to fetch me some. Carrying them is the tricky part. I'll take your word for it. I had so much trouble with that quest in Monster Hunter Try. And we have to do it without Cha-Cha. Welcome to the volcano, folks. Nutrients. I had a feeling that was nutrients. Okay. So, welcome to the volcano. find a lot of unique monsters here. There are Renoplos. Get away from me. Uh, there are Rogi as well. And then there are these little critters. They're called Uroctor. And they are the younger form of a monster that we will be fighting later on. So you can find powder stones at the tippy top of the volcano. Oh, it's been a while since I was here last. Look at that. This is probably my favorite area, just because you go past the crater. And it just occurred to me that I should have brought my Ludroth armor because it has Marathon Runner. Okay, first things first, we gotta get rid of these guys. Uroctor scale, or Uroctor scale, and a Dragonfell berry. Dragonfell berries? I thought Monster Hunter Trial Ultimate didn't have those things. Anyway, the volcano has a lot of rare ores. 
and you can use those in forging a lot of weapons. And here we go, powder stone. Powder stone is extremely hot. And it just occurred to me that I should have ta taken that ration. I'm such an idiot. Okay, powder stone is extremely hot. And we have to carry this all the way down to base camp, avoiding the monsters and watching our health drain down to almost nothing. Yeah, this is a difficult quest. One that I probably won't bother to complete. Okay. Mew links, they're tricky to dodge. If you see one coming up from behind you, you need to swerve in order to dodge it. Okay, we're about halfway there. So. Smooth, dang it. I was going to say smooth sailing, but that isn't gonna happen. Thank goodness I have earplugs. Okay. I swear, if he follows me, if he follows me to this area. Okay, my health is depleting very fast. Okay, I have to keep calm. This quest is extremely difficult. And that Uragan back there, he is, I'm pretty sure he's a 100% chance of appearing in this quest. So, yeah, get away from me. Okay, one more area to get through. One more. Oh, come on. I hate Renoplos. Okay, run, just run. this path. Get away from me. Run. Just... No. Get away from me. Get away now. Run. Okay. That one was relatively safe. Okay, now we can start healing as we make our way back up the volcano, and I'm probably going to use one of my first aid meds to speed up the process. Her off, huh? In Monster Hunter Try, there were Giggies. And that was like the only time I've ever seen Giggies in the volcano. I would have paintballed that Irrigon if I hadn't been carrying that lava hot powder stone. but I lived, and I'm going to use this opportunity to do some mining, because I need uh, stuff from the volcano. I need dragonite ore and fire stones, so let's see what we got. Earth crystal, macolite ore, 
Earth crystal. Earth crystal. Acolyte ore. Dragonite ore. Excellent. I need a lot of that. Very impressive stuff. Armor sphere. Earth crystal. Dragonite ore. Dragonite ore. Earth crystal. Armor sphere plus. Earth crystal and it's like one more mining spot. Whetstone. Whetstone. Iron ore. Wow. Very useful stuff. Oh, come on. Whoa. It made like a kind of strangled coffin noise there. That's what it sounded like. kind of gruesome, actually. Oh no. The cool drink wore off. Okay. Oh, another Yurok Tor appeared. Awkward blue jewels, I don't need those. Sunspired jewels, I don't need those. Makulu jewel, don't need it. Sunspire, don't need it. Let's see if this is anything I need. Whetstone. Dragonite ore. I'm still on the lookout for fire stones. Those are pretty rare. Okay, but my item pitch is full. So I'm gonna get rid of monster bomb. Okay. Oh no. I'm rapidly being surrounded by Eroctors. This isn't good. I'm gonna have to kill them. See if this works. Other stone is extremely hot. So yeah, rock tours, you rock tours, they're like the Ludroth of the volcano. I deliberately picked two ingredients for my meal that would give me a huge boost in my health. And I should have used that last, that nutrients I got. My hand is falling asleep again. I hate it when that happens. away from me. Okay, heading for Area 5 again. And hopefully that darn Uragon isn't there. Better yet, no Uragon in sight. If he appears out of nowhere, yeah, it says he's in a different area. I've got the targeting scope on my bottom on the bottom screen. 
Okay, area three and then one. And I dearly hope that area one doesn't have Alteroth. Oh, Benahabra, Benahabra. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. One more area to go through. And like I said, it hopefully is an Alteroth. Oh, it is Alteroth. But... Those are the gathering... Those are the gatherers. So, okay, I've got it easy in this area. But I have to hurry, nevertheless, because my health will drain completely away. Hopefully I get some rare ore in this. I forget what kind of rewards you get when you do the Powder Stone quest. Okay. That deserves a victory dance. Okay, so as I said, that's the final quest we're going to do for this recording. Yep, only, only two quests this time. Oh yes, rare ore, thank you. Dragon Toadstool, Armor Sphere, Dragonite Ore, Armor Sphere, Sunspire Jewel, Dragonite Ore, Earth Crystal, Not Quite Ore, Earth Crystal, Earth Crystal. Province of Flame has been added to the gallery. So that was quite fun. Ish. Not as fun as the Wyvern Eggs quest, but at least it wasn't as um, hectic. With the jaggies breaking the eggs. If you break a powder stone, then it explodes. So. Oh, what's this? We just got a quest from someone who might have a bead on her missing shakalaka tyke. That kid's your partner, right? I bet the little squirt is counting on you to save him. The hard part will be dealing with the nearby Duram Boros. That's trouble waiting to happen. Okay, because this is Monster Hunter Tri Ultimate, there's a lot of added content into it, and because I want, I just want to see what all the added dialogue is. I just love added dialogue for some reason, but I'm going to be reading all of it. The Duram Boros is a tail like a hammer. It'll give that thing a few swings before bringing the hammer down, so watch out. That's not its only trick, it'll also leap into the air to try to crush you from above. Move it or lose it when that thing jumps, end up in the impact zone and it'll be scraping up your remains with a shovel. I love that analogy. Jumping takes a lot out of the Duram Boros though. It'll sit tight for a while to collect itself, that's your chance. It'll be as helpless as a newborn feline, so be sure to hit it with everything you've got. Okay, that worries me. A hurt sick hunter who misses his little buddy. I know the feeling, it hits you right in the tummy, right? Or maybe it's closer to the pancreas? The spleen? They want you to hunt a Duram Boros, talk about killing you with kindness. Literally. I wonder what my in-depth guidebook has to say on the subject. Let me guess, something useless. Whatever you do, don't let it crush you. <laughs> I've got a hot tip. Someone reported seeing your little buddy. Apparently the quest client caught a glimpse of our kiddo in the same area as the Duram Boros. Small world, huh? Definitely. Looks like Cha-Cha got himself into quite a bit of trouble. Better bring a hanky and something to whoop that Duram Boros to. Okay, we have an urgent quest. Shakalaka Savior 2. Hunt a Duram Boros.
One of our rangers in the flooded forest saw Duramboros chasing something. It was a cute little thing, knee-high to a Vespoid, kinda like that little pal of yours. Mind stopping the Duramboros and saving this mystery pipsqueak another time? Cha-cha can wait. Okay, I'm gonna part with a question. Which of my weapons should I use to hunt the Duramboros with? Um, you know my style, you know my hunting style, you've seen the weapons I use. Is there any weapon I can use that I will be able to hunt the Duramboros with? So, farewell and many great goodbyes. This is Cottonmouth255, the Spore Serpent, bringing you more Monster Hunter Tri-Ultimate. See you all next time, and happy hunting!